Hello and welcome to the M Word. My name is Matt. And my name is Ariana. And we are back here playing We the Revolution. Alright, so let's just jump right back into it. The people shrugged the invisible burden off their backs. The streets seemed more peaceful. Even the windows of the courthouse were soon replaced. Because the windows at the courthouse were replaced in the last thing. Yeah. Dear Citizen Fidel, I am writing to congratulate you on becoming a part of our country's history. Citizens ca yeah. Citizen Capet's trial. It's on it. I would also like to discuss the important topic of appointing the new commander in chief of the National Guard who will replace Citizen Burrell. It is my honest belief that I am the best candidate. Should you pay, give me per your permission, I would like to pay you a visit this evening, along with the public, Francis Hanrit. Oh. Who are we in the good books of? Oh, no, we need to. We'll also the hierarchy, shall we? Nothing's changed. Nothing's showing. Who are you? <clears throat> They're a dragon. Yes. Those are angels with trumpets. And a spear. Well, I bet you those are demons, then. These are demons. Look. Oh, yeah, demons. Yeah. And there's us holding a head. Hello. That's I, really interesting. That is. I've never noticed something like that before. Go over here and look. <laughs> I wish you could just huck your report. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this isn't uh, the simulation or uh, PR. <laughs> Saint Just is lying. During one of the regular disputes of the cafe, the brazen Saint Just demagogically suggested that all judges are corrupt relics of the ancient regime. Or the ancient regime. Unfortunately, he chose to use an example. Again. Well, that. Dickhead! Great. Okay, so we're still in everyone's good graces. Our reputation's on the rise. Well, which is surprising, because doesn't the wife hate us? Yeah. Yeah, she does. Alright, case file, here we go. Ah, compiled by Oliver Carrasco. Carrasco? I don't know. In the docks sits the wife of the convicted and executed citizen Louis Capet, Marie Antoinette. Uh oh. A 38 year old Austrian who came to France at the age of 14 to wed the 16 year old Louis. Their marriage was political. It was supposed to tighten the alliance between Austria and France. Both Marie Antoinette and her late husband lacked the experience and knowledge required to rule a country. Their incompetence resulted in France being left in debt and the French in hunger and poverty. The former queen and her husband were incapable of restraining themselves from their prof profligate? Profligate, profligate lifestyle, even when the prince of bread became unapproachable for the common citizen. Or price, price of bread, of bread. <laughs> sorry. The prince of prince? bread. Prince of bread, mighty as he. No, my goodness. Marie Antoinette and Louis Capet tried to escape from the Tellieri's palace where the Capets had been confined by the revolutionaries. The two intended to return to France with neighboring armies, but they were caught before they could cross the border. Louis and Marie Antoinette were able to avoid lynching upon their return due to Antoine Barnave's protection. What? The famous Orette Order? Yeah, Order. Interceded on their behalf, which made him a suspect. It is thought that Marie Antoinette ensnared him so as to use him for her political agenda. For many years, Marie Antoinette has been accused of acting against France's best interest, plunging the state's budget into a deep deficit, plotting against the revolution, and trying to rebuild the monarchy. The failures of France against Austria can be attributed to her treason. We suspect that she conveyed French military secrets to her homeland, but we lack evidence to support this claim. The citizens are also accused of promiscuity. Moreover, there have been suggestions that she sexually harassed her eight-year-old son, Louis what? Charles. Well, really? that's interesting. At the same time, this report kind of contradicts itself. They were um, unable, where does it say? They lacked the experience and knowledge required to rule a country, mm -hmm. and Maria Antoinette ensnared him so as to use him for her political agenda. I don't think that contradicts each other. You well, can be a manipulative little weasel, but that doesn't mean that you're you know how to run a country. I guess there's that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Any traps? No traps. Okay. Oh, yeah. How many is here? Look, she's just stuffing her face. <laughs> Oh, okay, the young Louis <laughs> Charles Capet, the Queen's promiscuity. 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 I see. <laughs> All right. Now you'll pay. 
Bear in mind that this is no common case. Your future depends on your sentence. Oh, please introduce yourself. Excuse me? I could interpret that question as contempt, of course. <laughs> Maria Antoine, Antonia, Antonia. Josephi, Josepha, Joanne von Osterich, also known as Maria Antoinette of Austria or Maria Antoinette. However, I would prefer you to be called the Queen. Lol. I will use the term the accused. Ooh. Why not you, Austria? <laughs> well, damn. Okay. That's All right. hilarious. Let's see some questions here. So, right. counter revolutionary, their escape. Yeah. Or military secrets of the restored. I would say th oh. this one is counter revolutionary. Yeah. Okay. I would say profligate lifestyle is Offender's personality. Nope. Nope. I'm wrong. Oh no! Sorry, I meant to say promiscuity. Um, military secrets accusation. Yeah. All right. Antoine Barnave. Who's Antoine motive? Barnave? Uh, the guy she was manipulating. I say this motive. Oh. Heck yeah. And accusation? Maybe. Let's try to the young Charles. Accusation? Sexually abusing him? Yeah. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, don't leave that, leave that. Leave yeah. That. Uh, their escape. Um. Damn, okay. She motive, I guess? Uh, no, 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 no. Not motive. Hmm. Maybe motive? Can you, is there anything else open? Her profligate lifestyle and Antoine Bernave. And Antoine Bernave cannot be counter-revolutionary, no. No, it can't. It can only be a fetish personality or accusation. Okay, try accusation. No! I don't even have enough influence points. No! We are locked out of this. Okay, well, we're gonna, we're gonna try you then. I didn't think. I thought we had an influence points. I didn't we only come have back. one. I think it's because like we had that um, poor relationship with Wayne. Yeah, maybe. Okay, I must admit that you and Anton were not much alike. Has the accused ever suspected that he helped you for his own profit? I never even considered such a thing. Anton is a good person who wanted to help. I am not one to judge him for his political views. The most important thing you shared was your hatred of France. Nonsense, I. You had to survive on bones while you were devouring meat. We, we had to restore <laughs> our bones. Okay. Um, what was your relationship with him? He was my friend. He helped us and was one of the few people who treated us with respect when everyone else turned against us. Yeah, I wonder if she returned the favor under the sheets. Oh, jeez. Does the accused realize that by asking Citizen Barnet for help, she also ha has also caused him serious problems? I neither made any... I neither made any promises nor have I ever asked for him for help. We were simply alike, and that may be the reason for our friendship. Were you sexually involved with him? Austrian bitch. Of course not. Then why would he take such a risk corresponding with you? I only hope that he receives a fair trial followed by his acquittal. Behead him! Damn! Okay. Does the accused see herself as an exemplary mother? I cannot answer that. And I do not wish to. You should ask my son. Before we do that, I want to ask the defendant about the accusations regarding the indecent molestation of Lewis Charles. No other would dignify such atrocious accusations with a response. Summon the witness, the son of the accused, Lewis Charles. Aww. Oh, buddy, please introduce yourself. My name is Lewis Charles. Do you know why we have invited you here? No. Why? Oh, that's the only question. Did your mother ever do yeah. something to you that felt wrong, such as things that would make you feel ashamed? Her mother liked to hug me in front of everyone and embarrassed me. Did she often hug you? Very often. Sometimes she would even come to my chamber at night just to hug me. Did you feel embarrassed then? No, because no one was watching. Oof. Did your mother mention to you the plan to escape to Austria and abolish the Republic? No, neither mother nor father would ever mention that. Was Mr. Barnet a frequent guest? Yes, I like Mr. Barnet very much. He's always very nice and brings me toys. Recently he brought me this wooden guard. Was he and your mother doing anything you found strange? Mother once told me to respect him just like my father. Has the accused ever conveyed military secrets to Austria? What manner of secrets could I possibly know? Let us start with the strength and weaponry of the army. What an absurd accusation. I could not even tell a mortar from a musket. You do not have to know the difference to take notes and send them to other parties. I am the queen, not a spy. She denies it, the whore! <laughs> well... We're out of Shit. questions. <laughs> Let's see. Did the defendant confess to the crime? No. No. 
what was the defense relationship with Bernay if they were friends? Right. How did the defendant waste her money? She spent it. I'm gonna say she drank. Okay. Because I'm I'm thinking from history, because this is the one that said like let them eat cake. If they cannot afford bread, let them eat oh. cake. Oh. I think I could be wrong there, but I'm thinking that. So shall we sign? Yeah. We got nothing else. Okay. Oh, they're trying to tear a space, and they're not very happy with it. <laughs> All right. Death penalty it is. Death penalty it that is. That is not a lot of happiness from the revolution. I expect more from you guys in the mm -hmm. next time. Okay, should I cover it up, or should I do it proper? Yes. Yes! <laughs> Suck on that. Woohoo! All right, here we go. I sentence the accused Marie Antoinette of Austria to the guillotine. The ASEAN regime should have been beheaded long ago. Oh, shut up. Huzzah! Justice is served at last. Oh! Okay, well, maybe it was honor lovers. Might have been maybe. right. I didn't say honor lovers. I just read that out because I thought it was oh, funny. Okay. Well, Jace, there, there are other things that were in there that kind of hinted towards that. Right. I didn't even check this. Everybody wanted her dead. Oh, I did. <laughs> I didn't put up a fuss when you decided to win that. Oh, okay, fair enough. All right. Please, please, sir, can I have some more? Maybe I could win the heart of the crowd. Yes, we could definitely do that. Speak to the crowd. Oh, cop. dear. All right, do it. Ooh, they're carefree about the defendant. I've never seen, I don't know how to do to that. We don't have any, we only have one. Influence point. I think we have two. Oh, we didn't have enough to go. I think we only have one influence point. Hey, let's go revolution. Because crime, I'm sure we could go aggression with or manipulation. Yeah. Okay. Withdrawn. So. So I would say aggression for this. I would say manipulation for revolution. Okay. How about this one? Uh, defendant. Like, defendant is Marie, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd say aggression, just okay. because we're tr yeah. Sure, and then crime aggression, or manipulation. Uh, manipulation, I think. A perfect, a strong, Ooh, an awful. a very weak argument. Shoot, okay. So, manipulation, maybe aggression for revolution. <laughs> Try to click on it. I like please. Let me know. Me. Okay, well no, let's decide on defendant because we have a we have a strong one. Yeah. Why not leave with that? So manipulation. The defendant. Everyone's carefree, and that makes me wonder. Like, like would humility be good then? Maybe. Manipulation. Let's try it. Manipulation, okay. carefree, manipulation. Manipulation, humility, manipulation. Humility. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, Oops. Manipulation. Yeah. Anyone stepping outside the boundaries of revolutionary law has only themselves to blame. Only themselves. They're intrigued. Humility? Uh -huh, I guess so. The criminals belong in the grave. Only then can we build a better future. Yeah, that seemed to work. And then aggression? No, and manipulation. Yeah. The reign of the previous rulers, whose goal was to bring injustice to the people, ends with their swift deaths. They're satisfied. That's Way to go. go. And our reputation went by four. Nice. Woo! All right. Did I step on you? That was completely unintentional. What? Uh -oh. Pull the rope. Do I want to? I want to. Okay, you do it. Click. Yeah. Fire away. Yeah. For the revolution. Oh. oh, that's a juicy sound. Oh, look, little one eye up there, just like eh. Look at this dude, where the yeah, cruiser is. He's what like, a smirky like, smirk. Yes, let there be heads. <laughs> Get it? Let there be heads. Hey. hey. All right. Your wife told me that if I seek the support of, the, of just people, I should look for them in your house. Oh dear. Yes, Wifey. Hon, Honret, my husband will do more than will be more than happy to endorse your candidacy for the post of commander in chief. Why does this feel like a fate and a comply? Please do not be angry at your wife. I am sure that she acted in good faith when she made those promises. How could anyone refuse to support such a respectable officer? I am certain that your husband, that my husband will acknowledge your merits just as I have. In the bedroom? Undoubtedly. Oh, jeez. But how can I be so sure when there are so many other candidates? 
Well, I respect the other candidates. They're decent people. However, I can offer you the most precious gift. Loyalty. Working together, we can greatly benefit each other and maybe Paris, too. Our family has a high regard for sincerity and loyalty, does it not, my dear? Moreover, <laughs> we respect each other's boundaries. At every turn. Yes, those ugly rumors about you being an addict should be put to an end. Know that I have never forgot those who have done... I never forget those who have done me a favor. Words, 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 says Henriette. I am certain that no other candidate has asked you for their endorsement. Or for your endorsement, sorry. They do not think that you are worthy of their friendship, but I, French as Henriette, am different. And so are my Shut up. Um, <laughs> ow! I am sure that my husband has already noticed that. Thank you. Regardless of what the masses are yelling, Paris is only as strong as its united elites. I will not retract my wife's promises, but in the future, make sure you come to me first. But of course. Okay, the influence and the action of the court. He's happy. She... <gasps> she Yay! got happy! Oh, reading together. Oh, that helps these guys, not this guy. I, th I think they're... I think reading together. You rarely get Grandpa happy with something that makes the wife happy. Fair enough. So we should do that. Risk the sun. Well, because the sun's not near danger zone. Fair enough, fair danger enough. Danger zone! Where my these two guys kind of are. Is, yeah. There's nothing like sitting with your family on a good book next to a warm fire, even though some may think it, it is... Dull. I'd rather be playing my violin, Poppy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that actually sunk that quite a bit. And that raised that quite a bit. Yay! And... You didn't move at all! I know, that was barely anything. The whiskey lullaby. The evening is warm, so you decide to take the long way home. Near the Cafe Ch Chantilly, you spot an amusing scene. Two drunkards fighting over a bottle of liquor, cursing like stable boys. The first is shorter and dressed in a disheveled officer's uniform, possibly a colonel. The second fighter, although significantly taller, is just an ordinary street thug. You listen to the gibberish and tangled epitaphs, Ooh. only to reach the conclusion that the bottle contains one last gulp of drink. That's it. We've never had this before. That's really interesting. So should we try to settle the dispute or ignore it? I Because the one ignore seems it. like a colonel. Yeah, but... Mm, I don't know. I'm curious what happens if we try to settle, but I also think that they're just going to yeah, knock right. the block off. Let's go ignore. Are you sure? Okay. Ignore. The taller drunkard won by finally mustering all of his strength. The officer landed face first in the mud, and the last sip of drink gently washed over the winner's tongue. There is nothing else left to see. A bottle of something exquisite awaits you at home. Effects. Repetition plus two. two. Interesting. All right, all right. See, this game makes me want to replay it and try every other exactly. alternative afterwards. The thing is, every effect that you, like everything you do affects something else. So there's yeah. no, like, there's not like two paths to this. There's like A no. Paris of a new era. Ooh. Weak, vulnerable to attacks. Oh, I saw this in the trailer. I didn't see the trailer. Waiting for someone to reach for power. I didn't see this. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You were blind as a bat. Waiting for someone who, once again, will take control of its soul. So, who are the chess pieces? The this pawns are now in play. I do not know. Oh, recent days have proven that Paris can win. That France can win. We managed to overcome our past, divesting our last remaining tyrant of his power. Now it's time to rebuild to create symbols that inspire future generations. That is why, during a gathering of the convention, several enterprising citizens proposed the construction of a statue to commemorate the revolutionary victory over injustice. You were given the honor of supervising the construction. There is no better candidate than the one who vanquished Louis Capet. You have an opportunity to leave yet another mark on Paris. Ooh. Cool. Selection of Paris. Each selection can be controlled by you, by an enemy, or by a neutral. Or be neutral. Or be neutral. <laughs> Each section you take over provides you with an, an, one additional influence point. The chances of mission success is higher in your territory. Enemy agents can also take over your sections. Actions performed in enemy sections are less likely to be successful. Some sections are locked. Unlock them with any agent to carry out actions within them. To unlock a section, you have to scout it first. You can only unlock sections adjacent to the ones that are already unlocked. Each section reacts to the situation in the game, causing the fervor of these residents to rise or fall. If their fervor becomes too intense, it could result in destructive riots. Send agents on missions, manage unruly crowds, and fight for influence over the city. Click an agent and choose the action you wish them to carry out. The bruiser is good at fighting, gaining reputation, and managing unruly crowds. 
while the diplomat takes over section, nurtures relationships with factions, and lowers fairer in sections, weaker in duels against enemy agents. You can move your agents freely between your sections. Unfortunately, in hostile or neutral sections, you can only move one space per day. That's so fascinating. I'm so confused. Oh. Oh, design of the statue. The more sections under your control, the faster the monument is constructed. Each subsequent stage of completion allows you to take over another building near the monument. Okay. Statue. Let's see what you got. I like that one. That one loves the big sword. Yeah, it's from pedestal. I like the black one. Yeah, this one? Yeah. Surroundings. Uh, I kind of like this one, but I also kind of like this one. I like this one. Okay. Let's confirm it. Um, yeah, sure. All right, there we go. Boom! Sign oh, I like thing. that. Let's do that from now on. Sign right below the name. Okay. Each building must be performed a different kind of action. Take over the one that support your play style. Well, this is different. This is so interesting. So your residence. Spend more time with family. Facilitate the persuasions. Okay. Interesting. Well, political salon. Salon? Saloon? Salon. Salon. You cannot see this building yet. Oh, so that's the only one. Yeah. The persuaded character. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go back. This is where you can take actions related to your family and persuaded characters. Click again. The persuaded character will have a better starting attitude towards you. Randomly chooses one family special action. Good hideout. Uh, I'll help your agents operate more efficiently in Paris. Interesting. Oh, okay. So we should take over the residence. We should, but I don't think we can. I think we already have, but we don't have the influence points for it. So, I no. think... Oh. Oh, so he just automatically unlocks yeah. it. Can he do go down to that lower question mark? Okay. You're Sorry, just, it, you're there, just there was nothing else. Line. There was nothing else. You can go down to this section? Oh, I could. Sorry. I could probably still move it back. I was thinking because this is all neutral Paris. And yeah. I was thinking this is not neutral Paris. I know, and I was thinking that's risky to go after it right away. But try it, try it, try it. I'm, in, I'm no, intrigued. No, okay. no, I want to know what happens. Okay. All right, all right. Control of Paris. Days until inspection. 11. Interesting. Notebook. Yeah, very high and high. Patient 13, we're doing good. Except for with our family. Yeah, let me work on that. We haven't gone out for a drink once, guys. It's we've, been seven days. We've been doing good. Okay. So let's end the day now, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. That's so curious. That's so interesting. Act one, Liberté Day. Okay, that's where we're gonna end it for today. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video. In the next video. In the next video. <laughs>